Day 1, Washington, D.C. to Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. Alright, I almost just dipped out and just skipped D.C. entirely and just made it Arlington to L.A., but uh, didn't quite have the same ring, so I'm going to go ahead and cross over to D.C., sit in the traffic here and make my way back out so I can make it official. But uh, I gotta say, I loaded this bike up with all this extra luggage and I, I thought it was gonna be, you know, unbalanced and sluggish and catch the wind differently, but it, it's just as maneuverable as ever, so I'm, I'm very happy. I, uh, I checked all my fasteners and everything and they're all still locked down for 15, 16 miles when I was back there at the uh, Iwo Jima Memorial, so everything's looking good so far. We got a uh, hour and 14 minute ride to the next charger, well the, the first charger, and uh, I'm gonna... I'm going to not be smart about it. I've only got two charges today. I'm just trying for 250 miles. It's going to be a, a nice casual pace, but I'm going to not throttle the speed. I'm going to go ahead and tell it full speed, max amps, 75, whatever is maxed out, I forget. And I uh, hope oh, we're going to run this yellow light. No, we're not. Um, and, uh, you know, just uh, see what happens. But we're in D.C. It's official now. I uh, forgot what the range is for this thing when you're not doing 70 miles per hour. I'm doing 40 to 55 and I've got 130, 140 miles. So uh, that, that bodes well for some of the long hops. So what are we doing here? The long hops we might have if we have a... I think we have a couple times in middle America where there's 105, 110 miles between chargers. I know I can do it at... Probably 70, now it's realistic. 65, 60. Alright, that was uh, about a uh, hour, 40 minutes of riding, a, a lot of traffic. And we're uh, here, 80 some odd miles into our trip. Hoping to get our first DC fast charge. Uh, the air temperature, I think I said, was 89, 89 Fahrenheit. Uh, battery was green. Looks like we're charging. And we're set to 75 amps. Actually, do it. I think it's doing it. So, 24 minutes will be 80%, and that's that's about all we really need to keep going. Um, so, oh, we're only getting 85. Okay, so the battery is pretty warm. All right, so I'm gonna go hit the bathroom, get some stuff. I need some I need some trash bags actually to put over this, so uh, it doesn't get soaked when it rains here. Maybe soon. Alright, we're charging at 5 kilowatts, so that tells us it's it's time to get underway. 94%, 109 miles of range, more than enough. The next leg is going to be quite slow also, so we won't have a problem. So I bit off more than I can chew. Um, I'm out in the mountains of West Virginia. I started off doing 70, and then realized that the, uh, I should have looked at the uh, <laughs> the height map for the uh, route. It's just up and down, and mostly up it seems like. Uh, I've got 21 miles of range with this efficiency to go 29 miles. I'm slowly decreasing my speed. I'm currently doing 50 with cruise control, and uh, yeah. I'm, got some downhill here but uh it's gonna be close yeah i gotta get at least nine more miles back to, to hit the minimum to hit my destination so uh, i got cocky oh and this truck is on my butt he's uh he's putting his hands up and making gestures oh he's gonna pass and uh yeah he's best let's see what he does here thanks man thanks <laughs> Friendly guy looking out for people. Charge top two, and we have cooked the battery. We're uh, 
barely getting faster than a, a zero at its best. But uh, this was my day to attempt Lex Summer style charging. Ride fast, charge faster. Uh, it doesn't quite work out very well with large battery energy because. But they're still pretty fast, so uh, I'm gonna go hang out probably over there at the visitor center. Pull up my laptop and relax for maybe an hour. Also, at every stop, I'm trying to spray a little bit of exposed chain with some uh, DuPont chain saver. It takes about 30 minutes to dry, which is perfect for a. Uh, well, it's charging here. Just doing a little bit, trying not to make a mess. Well, that was less than optimal. I think I started on 15 kilowatts and quickly dropped down to 13 and pretty soon 10 and at 95% it, uh, it turned off on me at an hour, an hour 20, hour 30. Then, of course, the visitor center, the lady came out and closed it down as soon as I came here and plugged in, so I was just sitting by the bike for the last hour and a half or so, and uh, now I've maybe got enough charge to make it to the final stop for the night. It's uh, oh, 91 degrees air temperature, air temperature, whatever, 91 degrees according to the bike, and it's 6.28 p.m. So maybe if I ride conservatively I can get... I can make it 100 miles with 95%. I'm just gonna have to put the flashers on and do like 60 miles an hour maybe. So the plan is to get on a CCS charger, which is gonna take over an hour again, but at least there's a Wendy's nearby so I can, you know, hit the restroom and get some dinner. It's gonna be probably eight, eight something by then. Uh, I did book a hotel room about a mile away, so. At least after I eat and charge, I can immediately take a shower and go to sleep. I'm, uh, I'm pretty funky from all this heat and riding. But uh, here goes nothing. Final stop for the night. Only in America. A Dunkin' Donuts charger. Alright. I got about a uh, half charge here. It was going very slow. Um, I think about nine nine kilowatts, roughly. Um, so I picked up some food over at the uh, Walgreens and gave up at about a half charge and uh, headed over to the hotel for the night where I'm at now. So we'll pick up back up tomorrow. It's supposed to rain pretty much all day, so that should make things very interesting. 